Finally tonight, the changing landscape of American graffiti. Modern graffiti has been around for decades on everything from highway signs to dumpsters. But recently it's become a hot commodity in the art world, hanging in museums and selling for big bucks. That's prompting some to wonder where to draw the line between one man's vandal vandalism and another man's artistic expression. Here's NBC's Lee Cowan. I have an active case on him. When LAPD detective Victor Salguero became a cop, he never thought he'd end up an art critic. You can see the, the fresher graffiti. But as a member of LA's graffiti task force, he now polices the vast canvas that is the inner city. There have been some cases made out of fingerprints. from Off uh, the cans? Off the cans, yeah. To him, graffiti is vandalism, even if sometimes it's a tough call. It is art, but the difference is permission. Last year alone, the city of Los Angeles painted over more than 35 million square feet of graffiti. That's an 8% jump over the year before that. As you can see, just keeping up is no easy task. And it's not just Los Angeles. Cities all around the country are seeing a graffiti surge. Places like Florence, Alabama, and the State House in Tennessee. When you see it making its way into important museums, um, that gives you an idea of how big it is. At this gallery at the Sunset Marquee Hotel in West Hollywood, graffiti is big business. That's $9,000. $9,000. Cope 2, as the artist is known, started years ago by tagging subway cars in New York City. Now, he's an artist known the world over. Excuse me, sir. It's a hit in Hollywood, too. The recent documentary by the elusive graffiti artist Banksy was nominated for an Academy Award. Even the Los Angeles Museum of Contemporary Art has given graffiti a lofty platform. Some people say it has to be illegal to be graffiti. I, I don't really agree with that. Stash Molesky is the curator of the Venice Art Walls. He offers a legal place for street artists like Create. I was actually told at a young age that this art form would not get you nowhere. But guess what? You know, I travel, I do shows, I sell paintings. Critics say all this attention is just glorifying the crime. But it's the canvas that's the controversy, not the spray strokes themselves. Lee Cowan, NBC News, Venice Beach, California.